Here is lesson 19 for trumpet. We're going to be learning eighth notes and playing through number 46. Okay? On page 13, you should have already looked through the top of the page. You should have read through that. <clears throat> it talks about eighth notes. It shows you what they look like. Under the box where it says eighth notes, it shows you your two eighth notes. You can have two eighth notes together with the stems down or stems up. They're both eighth notes either way. Okay? It also shows you you have two different staves, okay? Two staffs, staves is what we call them. You have a staff of quarter notes and then a staff of eighth notes. And there's a dotted line connecting them. It shows you that those two eighth notes take up the same amount of space as one quarter note. And all the way to the right, it says two eighth notes are as long as a quarter note. And it shows you another way. Two eighth notes together is one quarter note, one count, okay? So let's say this is our beat. Okay, we have four quarter notes. Ta, 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 ta. Four quarter notes, right? Each beat is a quarter note. With eighth notes, that is twice as much. So eighth notes, you have two per beat instead of one. Ta, 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 ta. Okay? And we count them with the number of the beat they come in on, and then and. One and two and three and four and one. Okay? That's how we count it. So for instance, measure 45, oh, sorry, number 45. First measure, you have two quarter notes, two eighth notes, and then a quarter note. Okay? Remember, you're still tapping your foot for quarter notes. One, two, three, four, those are still your quarter notes. But you would count that measure, one, two, three, and four. Here, how I did those ands, or the and, one, two, three, and four. Okay? That's because you have those two eighth notes on B3. Okay, so take a look at number 46. We're going to try playing that one. Look through it. Make sure that you understand your counts. Okay, the first three measures are counting the exact same. One, two, three, and four. That's how the first three measures are counted. Okay, so let's play it. But first, I want you to buzz it. Here we go. Here's your first pitch. Okay, now that you have that pitch, buzz it while I play it. Here we go. One, two, ready. Did you remember the repeat? I hope you did. Okay, before we move on, our code word is practice. I believe we had that on an earlier lesson. Are you practicing five days a week minimum? What's it mean when I say minimum? When you hear the word minimum, it means there cannot be less. Your minimum, that's the absolute least number of days that you can practice. We have a minimum of five days. If you practice less than that, you're not going to advance very quickly. You, will, you should already be able to tell during class that there are some people that are getting really ahead because they're practicing five days a week or more. And those that aren't, they're still having trouble with the first three notes. Okay? So make sure you practice, there's our code word, practice five days a week. Okay? So now that your instrument's together, let's play through 46. Here we go. We're going to go a little bit slower, okay? Make sure that your embouchure is set. You're using lots of good air. Here we go. 46. One, two, ready. Thanks for joining me.